Hey, my name's Al Kay. Bring you some nice sounds. We've got the Arrows, Neil Diamond, Barry Maguire in our golden classic spot. Dave and Ansel Collins, the Carpenters, the Who, Zipper, the Drifters, Groundhogs, Alan Price, and possibly even Elton John, if we can just squeeze Elton John on the back end of the program. And we've got another fella on the telephone lines this morning, because Alison's gone off to Leeds, having a bit of a break. So one of my friends, called Griff, is on the telephone line, so uh, get on the phones now to Griff and give him your dedications, all right? We've also got the competitions, the new style competition which is going to be really nice for everybody. And I'm hoping that we've got a Derby band called Zipper coming along to the studios. I think just one of them just walked in. How about that? That can't be bad timing, can it? Zipper coming into the studios right now. We'll be having Zipper on the program in just a little while. And they've got a new record out, so we'll be playing that one as well. All for you on today's Al Kay Show. We pick the How about this one from the Arrows to start things off? Straight in at Super Sound number 22. It's called A Touch Too Much. How about that little sound boy then? Not too bad, can it? The Arrows there. One of my favorite records at the moment. It's in the BBC charts and it's at number 22 this week and they're going to go right up to number one, I hope. That's what we say on the LK Show. 25 minutes now past 10 o'clock and you're tuned to BBC Radio Derby, either on 269 94.2 in Derby Town Centre or even on 96.5. Or beautiful stereo listening, as I said last week. And got lots of complaints about it because we're not in stereo, but never mind. We might be one day, you never know. How about this one from Neil Diamond? It's called Shiloh and it's a new release. Alkay's Pickett. Should be getting around sometime in the near future into the BBC charts. Young child with dream. What a nice old one, Dave. Ansel Collins there for you on the uh, Al Kay Show. Broadcasting through the uh, sound waves of Radio Derby this Saturday morning. And you'll all remember that one called The Double Barrel. And another super sound hit there for the Carpenters. That's called I Won't Last a Day Without You. Time now on Radio Derby, your own local station here in Derby Town Centre, is five minutes before 11 o'clock. Sorry to talk over the end of that record because it really is nice, isn't it? But anyway, they're going to get right up to number one with that one. I hope they do. What a fantastic group they are. If you listen next Wednesday evening at 6 o'clock, I'm going to play that one in your choice once again, so if you like that record, listen to your choice at 2 minutes past 6 on Wednesday evening. We'll play that one once again. <laughs> the substitute from the Who there. What a gorgeous record. Isn't it nice to play oldies? Don't forget you can write in with your, your uh, golden classics, please, to me. My name's Al Kay here at BBC Radio Derby. If you want a particular golden classic, then just write in or send in your 45s like some people have been doing. If there's any particular old record you'd like to hear, like Substitute, or the things we've been playing today, like uh, David Ansel Collins, Double Barrel, and uh, The Eva Destruction, Barry Maguire, just send in to me and you can get whatever you want played on this station. Well, at least I hope you can anyway. live audience as well, streak up and down and wave your knickers in the air from Zipper. Oh, what a record. Well, if you like their record and you'd like to see the group Zipper, your own Derby band, let's uh, all get behind them from Radio Derby and uh, in the Derby area. <laughs> get behind them, give them a big, big push. Let's see if we can get them into the charts. The record's called Streak Up and Down and Wave Your Knickers in the Air. It's on the Young Blood International label and the group is called Zipper. And you can see them at half past 11 right through till 12 o'clock midday at the Melody Fair record shop here in Derby Town Centre. So if you'd like to go down there, get an autograph and get a record, then I'm sure Zipper would be very, very thankful to you. There's a young lady that's uh, got our head just across the clock, but I can see that the time now is 15 and a half minutes past 10 o'clock. I wonder what her name is. Let's just flash over there. Can you shout your name out very, very loud? Jane Archer. Jane Archer. We got that particular one. Jane, thank you very much for moving your head. I can give time checks now on this Saturday morning. Welcome along to the Saturday Pop Show. And, of course, a very, very special show as I've been handing out these cards and posters to everybody. I'm not two. In fact, I'm 22. I shall let that out now. Vi's been asking me for a long long time when my birthday is. Well, I've got my 23rd birthday on September 3rd. There we are. I've been waiting for today just to tell you. I've already told you. How about... 
Oh, dear, dear, dear. I've already told her. Oh, well, there we are. I am 23 on September the 3rd. So, in actual fact, it's the birthday party of the pop show, in actual fact. Two years today, we've been broadcasting on your favourite station, Radio Derby. And let's hope we're together for many, many more years to come. Don't forget, then, and now you've joined the Silly Club. We have 65 members in the Silly Club so far. And today, we should be running over the numbers 21 to 30. And if you'd like to join in the fun and join the Silly Club, all you've got to do is uh, send me a stamped address envelope. I've been meaning to say that. The management have been treading on my toes. It's been costing me a fortune sending those stamps away. So if you want to join, all you've got to do is send a stamped address envelope to Al K Silly Club, BBC Radio Derby, St. Helen Street in Derby. And I shall send you a bit of information back. Just at the moment, I've been waiting for some photographs. So to all of those people out there and anybody in the studio here that hasn't had a photograph just yet, we've had a bit of a problem with photos, but I should have those back in about two weeks when they come up from London. So you'll all be getting one of those. And of course, uh, there's lots of more things happening I'll tell you about later on. This is the first sort of happening that we've got together on the Silly Club, uh, welcoming all the members along to the studio this Saturday morning. I don't know, I, sh I should put a guess on it. We've got something like 50-odd people, I should think, in the studio. We'll, sh we'll sh count them whilst the next record's playing, I think. Uh, but the next one we've got is a disco. I'm going to invite you also, all the Silly Club members, and anybody who wants to join the Silly Club, an absolutely free disco. Uh, that's including myself, of course, playing all the good sounds. I'll be telling you about that a little bit later on. And, of course, we've got a lovely album to give away today as well in the Silly Club competition. That's only for Silly Club members. We now get into Singles of the Week. This one is Stuart White and country and western music, if you like, on Saturday. We'll be joining Mr. Leslie Ross and also an extra special thing this Saturday morning because John Henry, if you remember the Les Ross and Henry show, well, John Henry has come back to Radio Birmingham for a very special link-up. So we're going to have a super show for you at 10.40. We'll be joining Les Ross and John Henry over at Pebble Mill Studio. We'll be right back after this important word. Hello. Rebound, Rebound, Radio, 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 Holy ragamazoo, you're right. Stay right, right on, right in, because right now it's the writing competition. <laughs> I, I can't stand it, I tell you. This is driving me sane. <laughs> It's driving me insane. Now we've got a super album for you to win this Saturday morning, May the 17th, on the Silly Party. Uh, you don't have to be a Silly Club member for this competition, so anybody can write in for this one. It's the write-in competition, Al K, BBC Radio Derby, St. Helen Street in Derby. We want to know who arranges with Barry White. Barry White, of course, in concert around the country at the moment. So a very simple competition for you. We want to know who arranges with Barry White. If you know the answer to that, pop it on a postcard or in a letter and send it to the write-in competition, Al K, BBC BBC Radio Derby, St. Helen Street in Derby. You've got one week to do that before 10 past 10. Next Saturday morning, you could be the lucky winner, winner of Barry White's new album called Just Another Way to Say I Love You. Just tell me who arranges with Barry White. And right now, it's time for something else. Heavy. Heavy, Heavy spot on the Al K Show. And don't forget, if you want to see Yes along with a host of other acts, including Alex Harvey, this afternoon at the Stoke City Football Ground. Get yourselves on down there. Let us be lovers, we'll marry our fortunes together. Chicken seems like a dream to me. And right now, we leave uh, Yes there on yesterday. Sorry about that, Michael, but we go over to Mr. Leslie Ross at Pebble Mill Studios in the heart of Birmingham and say a very good morning to you. Leslie, are you there, Les? Good timing in the prevailing Hey, 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 well, Les, come on, stop your talking. Hello, Les. Hello. Hello, Al. How are right. you, baby? I'm all right. Jolly good. Nice to have you. I've just heard that John Henry isn't with you today. No, he's not with us today. Well, and in fact, should. hasn't been with us for the last 18 months. <laughs> you <laughs> not to <laughs> make that point. Well, we know that, but you've not got that ugly Fiona with you, have uh, you, Liz? I said so. Yes, there you she is. Hey, do you still fancy Pip, Fiona? I don't fancy anybody. Ooh! Yes, you. Who's, who's Pip? Who's, what do you mean, who's Pip? I don't, don't you remember the last time we had a little chat to you on Radio Birmingham? When not, I was young, yes. When you were younger. Yeah. We were a bit younger, no beards and the rest of it. Right. But Pip is the guy that helps me on the phone, you see. Oh, you need help, do you? I do indeed. Oh, I, I do this right. Saturday. Let's just say a nice round of a uh, sort of a hello to Les, shall we, everybody in the studio? Because this time, I've got 2,023 people, Les, in the studio. Right. Okay, off you go to Les. Hello! Hello! 
You are either. Now, let me tell all our, our listeners, Les, because I, I do believe that you've been announcing it on Radio Birmingham over there, yeah. that Leslie Ross is leaving Radio Birmingham. I think we've got the gist of that, yes. Well, I, we haven't over here. I've only just announced it. So oh, have you? We don't know what's going on. They think you're just a loony well, coming on my show. Well, of course, I've got so many listeners in your area. Oh. They would like to be informed of things like that, Al. Well, we've all got a, we've got a lot of listeners together, and it's been great fun working alongside you, because you've been with Birmingham for around four years, haven't you, Les? Um, how long? Is it four? Four and a half years. Oh, I'm already, sorry, I forgot the half. Yes. yes, forgot the half. Four and a half. That was the bit that did it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it really has been nice. Are we allowed to say where you're going, Les, or not? Uh, well, I'm going... Um, somewhere to, else. Uh, I'm going somewhere else. Yes, OK. Um, I'm just deciding on whether I shall say where I'm going. It's quite a long way away, and it's I don't think we'll be able way to way. listen to you, will we, Les? Oh, you will. Will we? <laughs> oh, all right. Fair no, enough. I doubt it. Now, well, are we going to do any competitions oh, or what? Yes, or should we come back later and do those? I think we'd better come back later, shall we? Well, up to you, I don't know. Well, all right, we'll do it now, then. It's a very come back later. All right, we'll come back later. Bye-bye, Les. Thank you. All right, see you in a bit. Yes, see you in a bit. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. There we are, number one loony, and that's Leslie Ross over at Radio Birmingham doing a live link with his pop show. And it's not the Ross and Henry show, it's just Leslie Ross with the beautiful Fiona. And now, taking a break from BBC Radio 1, is the one and only Roscoe. Hey, gang, great cassab. Oh. Hey, Roscoe, what's come wrong with you, baby? I think you're going to slow down just a little bit. I think we better just speed Roscoe up a little bit. It's all happening at Mallory Park Circuit, which is right down your alley. That's the Radio 1 Fun Day, your day on Sunday, Funky, May 18th at Mallory Parkers. Well, thank you very much indeed, Roscoe. It's taking a break from Radio 1, and we're going to be down there. That's tomorrow, of course, starting from half past nine. That's when they start practicing down at Mallory Park. But I don't think Roscoe's going to win. I think... Okay. And now back to Records of the Week. Richard Faulkner has picked this one. It's called Gringo on Mexico. From Maria Moldor. Like it. From Waitress in a Donut Shop. It's on reprise. I was raised in the heart of the city. Let me just explain this once again, Phil. This is the first time that we've done this competition, and all those people that have joined the Silly Club, we now have 65 members, I think it is, so far. So all the people that have joined are in that Silly Sack by number. And from here, Phil, I can see the number. What is it, Phil? Number 17. Number 17. So let's have a little look through the bag here and find out who belongs to number 17. I wonder if they're in the studio. It is Elizabeth Kerr of 24 Desford Road, Kirby Muxlow in Leicester. And I know Elizabeth's not in the studio because she phoned me at Radio Radio Leicester through the week and said that she couldn't come this Saturday and she's going to visit me at Radio Leicester. Anyway, Elizabeth, congratulations to you. And what is the album that they've won, that Elizabeth's won, Phil? It isn't the Vagabonds. It isn't. If you can dance. That's his new single, You Don't Stand a Chance If You Can't Dance, and the new album there, Jimmy James and the Vagabonds. Thanks very much indeed, Phil, and congratulations to you, Liz. It's the boring British company, whatever they call it. Very, very corny. No, actually, we're hot. Where's my sack? Where's my sack? Here we are. I put it on here somewhere, I forgot what I put last night. Oh yes, beautiful but crazy, that's one of them. And the other one was boring, balmy and crazy, yes? Fair enough. Anyway, members number 41 is the eight and a half sound disco of Highfields, Green Lane, Riddings in Derbyshire. And they say, do you think you could play the Rolettes singing, We Love You Rollers? Why not? And we love your rollers, the Bay City Rollers, of course, and knocking everybody about with Roller Mania. You're in tune with the biggest and the best, and we're broadcasting from St. Helen Street in Derby on 269 metres, medium wave, and 96.5 VHF. And now we cross to Leslie Ross. Hello, Leslie, again. Hello, Al. Oh, again. how are you? I'm all right, are you? We're going daft over here, Leslie. I can't are you? stand it. I'd never have guessed. I'm out of breath. <laughs> right, now, what's this competition you've got for us, Les? Well, I'm going to play you a new record. Yes. Right, because you haven't got many of those at Radio Derby. You're yeah. right. <laughs> That's the Doris and Moore album, all right? We're going to play this new record, and I'm going to give you a clue as to who it is. Yes. But I'm not going to tell you completely who it is, because yes. otherwise there would be nothing to answer, would there? Well, Does that mean everybody can join in? That everybody can join in, but I think we really want your your area listeners to ring us up, all right? Ooh. And then you can run a competition for Birmingham area listeners. Ah, oh, no? right. Nobody in Birmingham must phone Les. This will see how many listeners he's got. Are you going to play the record for us now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play a, a yeah. bit of the record now, about a minute of it. Okay. And, and the clue is that it's a drummer. A drummer? A well-known group, a super group, and you've, I don't think we've ever heard him singing before. Ringo Starr. No, don't go. Oh, we've stop. heard him singing. Well, you oh, might not have done, but we have. Oh, now, listen. Well, it's don't worry, baby, it's the old Beach Boys old Beach Boys. And uh, ah, it's a drummer gotcha. of a super group, really. So if you don't know, just I... so you're Radio Derby listeners, all right? All right, it is 021-472-5141. Les, we'll be back to you soon. All right, bye-bye. Cheers. Now. Right now, we're going to play you my single of the week. Here comes some Graham Grace. 
super little track, this one. I'm not going to tell you anything about it, because this is going to be the competition for all those Birmingham listeners. It's called Take Me In Your Arms and Rock Me Just A Little While. I know you're By the way, Louise and a gang of people are walking at the moment around Nottingham. And I'm going to lose myself about two pounds on sponsor money. Fox. Imagine me. And imagine you. Pip isn't with us today, unfortunately. Of course, Pip is uh, silaging or something like that. So, Pip, if you're listening right at the moment, I uh, hope uh, that since half past six this morning that uh, you were supposed to be up, I think that's right, you've got quite a lot of silage out there uh, down at Church Brought and sorted out. Anyway, good morning to you, Pip. Sorry that you're not here this week, and we look forward to having you back once again with us next Saturday morning. Anyway, Phil Burns on the telephone number this morning, which is 44411. And if you want a name check, a dedication, or whatever, just want to say hello to us, then give me a call on 44411. That's Derby Town Centre, of course. At about 25 or 20 minutes to the hour of 11 o'clock, we'll be having a special phoning competition for you. It's not the Radio Times competition, it's something we started off the LK show with in actual fact. A thing called Name It and Claim It, which Leslie Ross stole from me, if you remember Leslie Ross from Radio Birmingham. Anyway, we've got the Name It and Claim It competition for you today, and we're going to take a few more callers. Uh, just lately, we've only been taking one caller on the telephone lines, so we're going to take, I hope, at least three today, if I can stop all my chatter enough. But first of all, let's give out a couple of requests. This one, first of all, is for Mary and John Evans of Beach Farm. I think it's called Beach Farm, actually. I'm not sure what it's called, because it's a brand new bungalow. Anyway, it's in Ashby de la Zouch. I do know that. They had their 28th wedding anniversary last Tuesday, which was the 10th of June. And this one comes from Ken and Alice and all the family in Burton-on-Trent, and dotted around Leicestershire and Nottinghamshire. Mary and John Evans, congratulations to you on your 28th wedding anniversary. He saw me last Saturday evening at the Moor Farm Inn up in Brandcote in Nottingham, and we certainly uh, had a little chat. It was rather nice, that, actually, because a lot of people don't really realise that I work on radio when I go to Moor Farm. Uh, and it was nice of them to uh, come along. Two guys came up on the stage and just said, can you play as a request next Saturday morning? My pleasure to do it for you. Bye. Back to 67. It's going to be quite a nice day this afternoon, uh, according to the weather. It's going to be sunny intervals. And the temperature at the moment in the studio, rising something around about... Uh, gosh, I thought I was hot. I said that last week. 75 in here. Let's have a look outside the window. I can't see that one, to be honest. I'll just tell you what that is in a little while. And I must say hello to all the Cubs and all the Scouts down there in Tubbury. Really nice to be with you last Saturday. And I hope to see you again, probably in a year's time, opening your next plate. That was your first one. And you'll have to let me know how much money you made, because uh, it looks as though you were making quite a lot of money. This is called the Name It and Claim It competition. And what we're going to do, first of all, is play you a brand new single in a a single that's getting an awful lot of uh, airplay at the moment, not just on radio, but on television as well. So there's a little bit of help for you. Uh, I'm not going to say too much about it, otherwise it'll be a commercial advert, really, and we're not allowed to uh, put out those commercial adverts for you. So have a listen to this record. If you've got any idea who's singing it, then give me a call on 44411. Phil will answer the phone, or maybe it'll be Louise, I don't know. Is Louise working this? She's not, though. No, Phil's answering the phone this morning. So the number is 44411. Just tell me who's singing this record, and then we shall play you another record when we get you on the phone and see if you can win a single, okay? So just first of all, tell me who this is. Brilliant zillion, it's gotta sell a million. Saturday morning, and it's June the 14th, if you didn't know. I wonder what your day was like yesterday, Friday the 13th. I was really nervous all day long, and I thought I was going to sort of fall out of the studio windows or something, and something would have happened, but nothing did happen. <laughs> nothing is crossed and nothing happens today. It's ten and a half minutes to the hour of 11 o'clock, and it seems like we're fooling just about everybody on our Name It and Claim It so far, and all we want to know, really, is who is singing the new record, which is out on Polydor at the moment, which is called I Ought to Sell a Million. A million. It's got to sell a million. I thought that was quite an easy one. Apparently we are getting callers through, so we shall take some in a few moments. In fact, after the next record. We want to know who's singing that one, and if you want to join in on the fun on that, then call me on 44411. Come and join the fun. Certainly joining in the fun. Here's my single of the week, which was my own personal hit pick a few weeks ago. Back on Turner Overdrive from the album Four Wheel Drive on Mercury Records. A really incredible record. Not in the 30 yet. It's going to be there next week. It'll better be. Hey, you. That's brought us to the end of the Alcay Show for another week. I'll be back with you in one week's time on the 21st of June.
from 10 past 10 right through till 10 past 11. But if you want to stay tuned to some sort of LK sounds, then I'll be back with you at half past 10 tomorrow evening. That's Sunday evening for Late Night Derby. I'll be playing you, well, some sort of pop music and some relaxing sort of music to uh, take you right through to midnight. So why not join me with the Late Night Derby? That's tomorrow. Till then, take care and have yourselves a ball, won't you? Bye-bye now. Thank you.